Hello and welcome back to the Google News. I'm Rose Zach Watson with your co-host Caleb White. How are you feeling, Caleb? Feeling pretty good, Zach. How about yourself? Pretty good. And you can pretty hungry. Don't surprise me. Well, today is March 14th, 2018, and there will be an SJ. Zach, what? I'm hungry. Are you serious? Can somebody get this guy some food? Thank you. There will be an SGA meeting tomorrow during RTI. Powell's officers meeting tomorrow during RTI. Uh, ICT is March 20th. And Stephen Hawking, the Nobel Peace Prize, the Nobel Prize winning scientist, died yesterday at the age of 76. May he rest in peace. Now off to Easton with the weather. Girl. Thank you, Zach. Today's highs is 50 degrees and the low is 33. It's sunny today, then zero percent chance of rain. And your wake-up weather in the morning is going to be 35 and sunny. It's still pretty chilly, though, so dress warmly. Now off to Brett with sports. Thank you, Easton, and welcome to the best part of your day, one day. Blake, kick us off. And today, baseball will be playing Kusa tomorrow at 4.30. Softball plays, uh... Oh! Hello? Hello? Uh, yes. Thank you. Softball will be playing uh, Valley Head tomorrow, home. Uh, we don't know the time. And we have a golf match tomorrow against Pisgah. Great analysis, Floyd. And Jackson, March Reynolds. The tiebreaker games from last night. Radford beat LIU Brooklyn 71 to 61, and St. Bonaventure beat UCLA 65 to 58. Tonight, NC Central plays Texas Southern, and Arizona State plays Syracuse. Last night, Russell Westbrook got his 100th triple-double in the Thunder's win over the Hawks. Brody get number 100. It's history, and today in the NFL, free agency, big moves are happening, and I'm especially excited about this one. The Chicago Bears signed wide receiver Allen Robinson from Jacksonville, and they also got uh, tight end Trey Burton from the Eagles. Minnesota quarterback Kirk Cousins. Tennessee running back Deion Lewis and cornerback Malcolm Butler. The Jets... Defensive back Jermaine Johnson and quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, Kansas City, wide receiver Sammy Watkins, three-year, $48 million deal. Uh, the Dolphins, wide receiver Danny Amendola. Green Bay releases their star wide receiver Jordy Nelson and sign tight end Jimmy Graham and defensive end Muhammad Wilkerson. Uh, Cleveland signs Carlos Hyde, so making more moves for the Browns. Uh, the Cardinals sign two quarterbacks, Mike Lennon and Sam Bradford. The Redskins signed Paul Richardson. The Giants signed Jonathan Stewart from Carolina. The Bengals signed Cordy Glenn, left tackle. And a reminder, the 2018 NFL Draft, April 26th through 28th. So who's going to be the first quarterback taken in the draft this year? Okay, I'll start off. My, my favorite is Baker Mayfield, but I think Josh Rosen. Let's give me number one. I got Baker Mayfield. Ooh, I really want Baker to go to the Giants. Uh, okay, Jeff. <laughs> what? Gator. <laughs> Y'all have any? Uh, yeah. uh, Gator is good. Back to you, Doug. <clears throat> Thank you, Brett. Congratulations. Zach. What do you want? I'm thirsty. Oh my gosh, I can't. Josh! Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Uh, congratulations to Caleb Dalberry for second place in the VFW pay, uh, Patriots pin riding contest. He received $100 for his award winning essay, and this is him with it right now. America has given many gifts to its people throughout the years. No matter what race, religion, or sex you are, America has given you something. Whether it's our Constitution, Bill of Rights, or even the beautiful lands and landmarks it offers, you have received a gift from it. You may wonder and fight for these great gifts. Who gives us these freedoms and who offers us these great lands and opportunities and why? Many brave men and women have given these special gifts and sometimes we take them with no thank you. So these are some of the gifts they fought for. After the Revolutionary War, our founding fathers gathered together to create the most important piece of paper in America's history, our Constitution. One great thing about the Constitution is the fact that it holds all citizens together. Two things were really important to new Americans. Limited government and power held in the citizens. Once they authored this document, they ensured the power of government was restricted and succeeded. 
that's only one gift to the Americans. Furthermore, another great gift is the Bill of Rights, where several freedoms are defined. The rights include the freedom of speech, press, religion, and uphold your rights to a lawyer, a fair and open trial, and even allows you to refuse to have a soldier at war. The bill was demanded by the citizens and was interpreted in 10 different amend amendments to the Constitution. Since then, we had defended it as a people. Finally, the gift of our beautiful places and landmarks that we view every day. The U.S. is home to some of the greatest wonders of Earth. We are home to the Great Lakes, the Grand Canyon, and the Great Statue of Liberty. As Americans, we can say that these landmarks are ours because no other country in the world is home to as many great places as the U.S. beholds. America constructed these landmarks with their bare hands, like Hoover Dam, the St. Louis Ark, or Mount Rushmore. Though some were fought for with the lives of soldiers, like the Independence Hall. But some of the most beautiful were the gifts from God. Mount McKinley or the mountainous redwoods in California. All I know is that no matter the gift, we thank the U.S. for them and pray for more each day. Thank you for watching the Woodville News. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you like what you see, we'll see you next time. Ah!